Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare medieval Indian chickpeas with beef from a beautiful manuscript dating to the 15th century. We start with the ingredients. We need beef, chickpeas, onion, lime, garlic, ginger, asafetida, black pepper, cardamom, cloves, fenugreek and turmeric. First, we grind the spices. The source for this recipe is an Indian manuscript titled Nimat Nama, dedicated to the pleasures of life and collects the favorite recipes of Giyat Shahi, the Sultan of Mandu. The text is contained in a single illuminated manuscript with 50 miniatures that show not only the preparation of foods, but also other aspects of the life of the Sultan, such as hunting. In this source, we find several recipes for food, beverages, aphrodisiacs, medicinal remedies and perfumes, as well as parts dedicated to the use and preparation of bitter leaves and tips for hunting. After the death of his father, having been on the field with him for 34 years, the Sultan gave the military command to his son and dedicated the rest of his life to pleasure and arts. We used the translation by Nora Titli, titled The Nimat Nama, Manuscripts of the Sultans of Mandu. We minced the ginger and pound it with the garlic. Many recipes of this book are quite short, with scarce details. In this case, we have just a list of ingredients. The author writes to make a soup with chickpeas and meat, then add the other ingredients. Ginger must be fresh and we need to use a lot of garlic. And these are the only directions. We decided to pound all the spices together, except the ginger that we pounded with garlic, as is still quite common in traditional Indian recipes and a safetida, which we grated on the finished dish, because the author writes to aromatize the dish with a safetida as the last thing. In addition, we minced the onion and added it to the soup with a squeeze of lime when the cooking was almost done. Actually, however, the recipe says nothing about what to do with the ingredients. You may pound all the ingredients together or grind just some and add the other all. Probably the author of this recipe didn't feel it was very important how to mix the ingredients together, because in other recipes there are more clear directions about how to use them. Then we mince the onion and the beef. Beef is one of the meats used in this manuscript, because it belongs to the traditions of a Muslim court but there are plenty of kinds of meat mentioned in this source, including partridge, pigeon, quails, chicken, rabbit, mutton, lamb, deer, mountain goat. We chose beef, but you can use the meat you prefer, clearly excluding pork. You find the spices in Indian grocery stores. We bought our asafetida directly from India, but generally it is easier to find a safetida powder. We cook the chickpeas previously steeped in water overnight. After about half an hour, we add the beef. The cooking time changes depending on the chickpeas and the cut of beef you choose. When the meat and chickpeas are almost cooked through, we add two pinches of salt and the onion garlic, ginger, and the spices, and just before the end, we add the lime. We plate with a bit of grated asafetida on top. If you're interested in medieval cooking in Europe, we recommend reading our books The Observazione Ciborum, Early Medieval Recipes at the Court of the Franks, and Registrum Coquine, a medieval cookbook in which you find our translations with commentaries and glossaries, 
of two medieval sources. The first written in the 6th century by the Byzantine physician Antimus, and the later by the German cook Johannes Bockenheim, who lived in the 15th century. On our Patreon page, in addition, you find the further translations of ancient and medieval sources and several articles on historical cooking. If you want to know more on ancient food, check out our book, Ancient Roman Cooking. All the books are available on Amazon in English and Italian. To support our work, you can buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. This dish was incredibly tasty and spicy, very similar to many traditional Indian dishes. The flavors are perfectly blended, and the plate was deliciously fragrant with lime and asafetida. We paired it with rice and it was amazing. Very different not only from European medieval cooking, but also from the recipes we can find in Arabic or Egyptian sources. We recommend trying to keep the quantities of spices in check unless you like very spicy dishes. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.